thoughts? How did you score it? What a fight. Well, I mean, last week we got one of the best fights we've ever seen live in Eggington and Cheeseman. And tonight I got one of the best fights I've ever seen live as well. Unbelievable. Another fight of the year contender from Fight Camp. I thought both girls incredible. You know, we're working hard for women's boxing to give them this kind of platform. But without them delivering in the ring, it's irrelevant. And what they're doing is they're putting great fight after great fight together. I was sitting with Dave Coldwell. I had Natasha Jonas 5-4 up going into the last. I actually scored the last round to Harper. I thought the fight was a draw. I felt that maybe if anyone was going to get the decision, it would be Natasha Jonas. Very close fight, could have gone either way. I think we have to see the rematch for that fight. And that was great timing from Natasha, just come around the corner as well. Yeah. And, um, you know, I feel that it was just a stunning fight. No one gave Natasha a chance going into that fight, really, other than the people around her. And I kept saying in interviews this week, just I could just see how focused she was, see she was in great shape. And what she did was put in a performance. She was hurt herself in the second round. Harper was out on her feet in the eighth round. You know, and, and again, not just because she's there, she heard it anyway. We have to see the fight again. You know, I think as an advert for British boxing, we talk about unification fights, but really, you know, you read Twitter, everyone had it very close. A lot of people thought Tasha won the fight. And I know that Terry, being Terry, will want to do it again anyway. So when we've got a chance to make another British uh, women's world title, title fight, when it was as good as that, I'm all for it. Let's start at the beginning of the night, the first of the four fights. Chris Bill and Smith came in, he looked big, yeah. he looked strong. Some big fights for him in the future retaining his Commonwealth title. Yeah, I think what he did was he didn't allow Thorley to get into his rhythm. Everybody said in the in the build-up, if you let Thorley get into his rhythm, he can box well. He just steamrolled him. He shook him up early. Thorley, I think, was overruled by the occasion as well. And in the second round, when he started to trade up with Chris Billum Smith, he walked onto a peach of a right hand. I think it was a major statement. I'd love to see a Billum Smith fight Tommy McCarthy now for the European title. Uh, let's talk about Johnny Phillips. He's been great yeah. value in the build-up, but hope your price far too slick, far too really sharp. Good, but, but that's the kind of fights we want for our young prospects. He's 2-0, and he's 20. Johnny Mental Phillips, that's his new nickname that I've, I've, I've given him. You know, I feel that he was perfect for Hopi Price, gave him all the work he needed. Hope he was so impressive. We know he's got great feet, we know he's got great shot selection, but what he showed was maturity and strength, being able to tie up Johnny Phillips on the inside and control him. I thought it was a great performance. Adam Harper, so tough. Too tough, too tough for his that. own good. You know, I felt the corner should have pulled him out a couple of rounds before. He's a credit to himself, mate. Tough as old boots. I thought Fowler looked great. Great under Shane McGuigan. I thought the jab was great. His movement was great. Um, bigger fights, bigger tests to come. I can't wait to see him in the mix. Ted Cheeseman, Anthony Fowler. Yes, please, give me some of that. Uh, um, Shane was talking about maybe going to European level and fighting someone like Sergio Garcia as well. But he's ready now to go well into the deep end. And you're just saying they're really looking forward to week three, some really great 50-50 fights. Oh, look, we see a fight of the year in week one. We saw a fight of the year tonight. And I think next week could be a sleeper card. You know, Fox against Doherty, great fight. Another great women's fight next week, Shannon Doherty against Rachel Ball. A lot of people backing Rachel Ball for that fight. Nav Mansouri um, against, uh, you'll tell me, Kieran Conway. Kieran Conway, another great fight. It's the first time I've ever forgotten a fight. Uh, and Eric Donovan against Zelfa Barrett, another really tough, tough fight for Zelfa Barrett. And Cash Wellborn is going to be an absolute war. So, again, well done to all the fighters, incredible. And uh, roll on next Friday. Brilliant, we can't wait, we go again. Cheers. Cheers, Eddie.